The last prophet in the world, last prophet in the world, last prophet in the world to show how to be closer to Allah. He is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. After the Makkah victory, the other enemies of Islam became scared. The Hawazin and the Thaqif tribes were friends of the Quraysh. They used to live between Ta'if and Makkah. They thought that the Muslims might attack them next. So these two tribes and other tribes around them planned to attack the Muslims. As their plan, they gathered a large army of 20,000 soldiers at the place of Autas. Those soldiers even brought their women, children, and farm animals with them so they could fight very hard to win the battle. The soldiers left them in that place and moved themselves to the neighboring valley of Hunain. To get more information, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam secretly sent Abdullah bin Hadrad Aslami as a spy. As soon as the Prophet knew the evil plan about the enemies, he ordered the Muslims for a battle. In this army, he had 10,000 men from the Muhajir and the Ansar and 2,000 new Muslims from Mecca. Finally, on the 10th Shawwal, in 8th Hijri, the Muslim army reached the Valley of Hunain. That's why it was called the Battle of Hunain. It was around three weeks after the Makkah's victory. The Muslim soldiers were very confident that they would win easily because they had 12,000 soldiers. But that was a mistake. They were supposed to depend on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's help and blessings. The Muslim soldiers did not know that the enemies were already in position to attack them. So during the morning, as soon as the Muslims entered Hunain, the enemy suddenly attacked the Muslims with arrows. The new Muslims became scared and started to run away. Then the other Muslims also started to follow them. It was a very bad situation for the Muslims. Some of the new Muslims whose faith was not strong yet started to think that Muslims' miracle and power was over. One of the new false Muslims had an evil plan to destroy the Prophet. But when he started to come to the Prophet, he fainted and fell down senseless. At that time, the Prophet was on the right side of the valley only with a few sahabas like Abu Bakr, Umar, Ali, Fadl, Abu Sufyan, and Abbas Radintala. In that horrible moment, the merciful Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent some angels to protect the Prophet and the Muslims. We can find this information in Surah at tawbah verse 25 and 26. The brave prophet stood firm in his place without any fear or nervousness. When the prophet saw his men in confusion, he ordered Abbas Radintala to call them back to his side. Immediately about a hundred men came to the prophet. The prophet Muhammad wasallam started to fight bravely and the rest also started fighting the enemy of Islam in the name of Allah. And the angels were also helping the Muslims in the battleground. The Muslims were fighting with strong courage. The Prophet Muhammad wasallam prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and took a handful of dust and threw it at his enemies. As a miracle within a short time, the enemies became confused and helpless. They started to run away from the battleground in different directions. The Muslim army went after their enemies and captured lots of them easily. 
The rest of the enemies got away from the battleground and left their women, children, farm animals, and valuable assets. After bringing together their women and children, 6,000 of their enemies were arrested at the battle, and with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessings, the Muslims won the battle easily. When some of the enemies saw the miracle of the Prophet, some of them accepted Islam right away. Mainly, three groups of enemies escaped from the battleground. The largest group ran away to Ta'if, while another group to Nakhla, and the third group to Autas. The Prophet sent Abu Amir Ashari, the uncle of Musa Ashari, with a group of soldiers to the Autas to arrest the enemies. Over there, the enemy group started a battle with the Muslims. Unfortunately, the Muslims lost Abu Amr Ashari. His nephew, Abu Musa Ashari, then led the soldiers successfully and won the battle to arrest them. The Prophet also sent another group of Muslim soldiers to the Nakhla to arrest the second group. The Muslim soldiers successfully arrested them and brought them back to the Prophet at Hunayn. At the end of the fight, the Prophet Muhammad wasallam ordered his men to pile all of the items the enemies left behind in the battleground. In that battle, the Muslims won lots of items. There were around 24,000 camels, 40,000 goats, 160,000 silver coins, and 6,000 women and children. The Prophet ordered Mu'ad bin Amr Gifari Radintala to look after those things with some of the Muslim soldiers. In the next episode, we will see that the Prophet Muhammad wasallam went after the biggest group who escaped to Ta'if, inshallah. Have you ever wanted to make a big difference to help children all over the world? We provide everything we create for free and are committed to keeping it that way for millions of Muslims and non-Muslims all over the world. 100% of our operations are crowdfunded from our generous audience. We want to continue our Dawa mission and we can do so with your help. All donations are tax deductible and Sadaqai Zaria, which continues to benefit you when you pass away from this world. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your generosity and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you the highest reward to you and your family in this world and the hereafter.